My name is Kirk Westaway. I'm the executive chef at Jan by Kirk Westaway. We're situated here in Singapore with one of the impressive iconic views over the Singapore skyline, uh, level 70 in this Swiss Hotel de Stamford. And um, here we're recreating modern British food. Uh, I describe my food as really ingredient based, so it's, it's quite a strong emphasis on vegetables. That's a big part of what I'm. I actually grew up vegetarian. Um, with a selection of fruits and vegetables growing up in my childhood home. Obviously evolving into a chef and into the kitchen each and every day, you need to be involved in, in every course and every ingredient. So um, I'm a big fan of everything we serve, but I, I do really appreciate the, the quality of the vegetables on, on almost every plate. So there is a, there is a real focus on, on that style of the menu. The, the philosophy is British food and my my style and my feeling of what I want to eat something I really enjoy on every dish um, and that's, that's that's really it it's really just quality ingredients cooked well um, and with a, a light light journey throughout the tasting menu we've got a white beetroot dish that is very nice which which actually encapsulates the white beetroot in a, a salt dough so we'll bake it in salt um, for around an hour. We'll take it out. With this you don't lose any moisture or humidity or flavor or sweetness. It's all maintained inside. Bake it in the salt, slice it very thin, wrap it up in a little soft cheese and a little caviar and dill sauce as well. It's a, it's a really nice way just to bring out the quality of the ingredient while maintaining its integrity on the plate. So basically the concept and the philosophy is um, reinventing British food. It's my interpretation of how I believe British food could and should be seen. Uh, really a strong focus on premium organic artisanally grown ingredients, um, ideally from the UK where possible. A lot of the seafood and shellfish comes from the kind of northern regions, a lot of Scots, Scottish lobsters and langoustines, uh, turbots from Ireland and sea bass from Cornwall. So I'm also good friends of farmers here in Singapore um, and I take myself and the whole team to the to the farm. We go and scout around for new options of ingredients from there, you know, herbs and flowers, leaves and root vegetables, something we might be able to incorporate into the menu. Every day we get a delivery of ingredients from some of these farmers. A good friend of mine is a lady called Ting Ting. We go to her farm and source lots of ingredients. Obviously the, the tropical temperatures here are a bit different to the UK, so you get different seasonalities and, uh, and ingredients available. So we, we try and source what we can and incorporate that into the menu. Um, now we, we have a, a, a crispy potato shell, like a very skin, very thin potato shell that we stuff with a kind of a, a, a cod brandard. So cod poached in milk and, and the potatoes cooked in the same milk, aromats and then lots of um, fresh shallots and capers mixed into the mix. We're just stuffed into this little potato case and we'll serve with some herbs and a little tartar sauce on top. Yeah, we, we actually, funny enough, we call it a snack. So something that I, I tried to do when we move into modern British, this restaurant used to be a French restaurant for a long time. Um, I, I deliberately try to remove French words from the menu. So we don't use the word canapes or amuse-bouche or petit four. I, I really attempted to make that quite an important part so we're not falling into the category. You know, British or European food has, has similarities for sure, but something I had to really try and break away from. We don't serve items such as souffle or bouguette or you know, frog's legs, for example. We don't, we don't do it and we really try to avoid um, using the terminology that's classically French, as well with canapes and mousse bouche and petit four. So I tried to move away, so canapes became snacks, the mousse bouche became soup, and then petit four became final sweets. It's very small touches, but it is important to inject my philosophy and opinion that this is a modern British restaurant. It's no longer a French restaurant serving so French food or French ingredients. It's very different to that now. I think at the beginning there was a, a, few, a few negative opinions, um, just because you know this restaurant's had a, gr a great reputation with famous French chefs running through it for a long time. Um, it's always been popular, and now for this guy to come along from Devon and uh, say he's going to retake it into a modern British food, you know, it didn't always have a great opinion behind it. So I took that as the the petrol for my fire and, uh, and I, I really put everything I had into it. Um, I used to obviously work pretty long hours and sleep in a restaurant sometimes, once in a while. Change the, change the menu, change the direction, really incorporate my 
my DNA and my feeling into every dish um, and try and have a little story, a little connection to, to the menu and also to British food or heritage on every dish running through. Um, and step by step, the, the regular customers came back, more customers came back and we were seen as you know, a very popular restaurant in Singapore for Singapore and overseas. Huge clientele and tourism from around the world were visiting us. Uh, we had a lot, and we do have a lot of French customers, which is good because you know the French they have their own opinion on British food. So um, that came from them having a not so positive opinion to being most of our regular guests are French customers. So that was a is a, a kind of appreciation note to the restaurant as well. Um, but there's a lot of interest. Yeah, a lot of people are interested from from Singapore and around the world. I think we are definitely one of one of the key restaurants on people's bucket lists when they visit Singapore to tick off. Um, obviously the style of food and ingredients is special but the view is quite unique as well so people like to come and, and have, that, have that mixed in with the experience.